Hello and welcome to another one of our Sonic Lab product presentations. Today we have Mr. Gareth Bowen, who's come back. Uh, you may remember him from such videos as the Jupiter 50 and the Integra 7s. The right? 80, yeah. And well. The 80, yes, yeah. too. Um, and today we're looking at uh, the V-Combo VR09, which is a kind of... Um, it's, it's, it's a kind of organ, keyboard, sort of mechanical... That's the sort of history of the V-Combo stuff, yes, right? Yes, that's the history. Yeah, this is slightly different. This is designed, um, you know, it's, it's got the name V Combo, but it's designed as uh, an on the fly live keyboard, but not just organs and piano and the odd brass and that. Full synth section as well. I mean, because I must admit, when it was sort of pitched, I thought, well, you know, is that, is that sort of thing that, that our readers would be interested in? But there's, there's a lot more to it besides, right? There is a lot more to it. As I said about the, the, every, the whole keyboard is designed to be very easy but cover every sort of area of live performance, you know, so it, it's, it's designed very much for in, inline effects, real-time effects, real-time organ controls and everything. And not just like, unlike other V combos, we've got iPad connection for synth tone editing, as you've seen on the Jupiters, um, and also uh, full organ control as well, so upper and lower. Right, okay, so uh, um, perhaps the first thing to start off with, I mean, like basic piano sound, you know, yep. what can we do with that? Maybe we can Okay, yeah, the, the piano sound on this is actually the same piano as on the Roland stage pianos, you know, so it's, it's a high-end piano. So you know what the piano's going to sound like, it's going to sound great, but using the online things, we've even got ADSR on this as well. So that's just the start of live editing and live playing. Now I can use my effects, seven effects at a time, even got rotary so I've got seven effects basically so as you can see you can manipulate every sound live and back to our original piano so these are the organ draw bars that we're using as a sort of <laughs> doubling up not all of them do stuff in this mode but no, exactly. The first three, we've got attack, decay and, re and release. So when it's not in organ mode, it becomes attack, decay and release. And then the last two, uh, well, the last one is cut off. And what would be the organ level becomes resonance as well. OK, but that's not applying to the piano. That's the No, it's not. It's mainly the synth tones uh, that it works on. So uh, facts and figures first. Um, what sort of polyphony are we talking about? 128 notes. OK, and we can split and layer? You can split uh, or layer two sounds very quickly as well, because all the sections are, are, are divided up. So you've got piano, synth and organ. And just to split, so I've got a piano there. If I want to have a piano and a pad, just hold them down. But if I want to split, just hit the split, pad there. And wherever I want to put the split, I just hit the keyboard. It's all designed to be very, very easy to use and very quick to use as well. Right, OK, so let's just go through the sections. So we've got a piano section. Yep. Under the piano section, you just hit piano, you have all the range of acoustic pianos or the acoustic models like the JD800 pianos and honky tonks. Then you go underneath the electric pianos, same again, various different pianos, all with multi effects and things on board as well. Um, you can just scroll through each one in turn. Clavichords, range of different clavichords. And then under others, you've got things like harmonicas, other kinds of organs like PCM organs right. and things on board as well. Uh, I'll give you an idea of that. But the blues harp on this is lovely, isn't it? Especially if you have the distortion. And when you're sort of accessing the filter and those kind of things, is there any deeper level editing to the filter types or whatever for these sounds? Uh, not for the not for the acoustic sounds. If it's if we're talking synth tones, then we can come over to the iPad editor and do the full edits. The idea is not just to be presets to have control, but control from the front of the of the keyboard. So you don't have to go through menus right. and find things like that. So no, you you have all the all the, the all the editing you have for these kind of sounds are actually on the front of the keyboard. Okay. Well, let's have a listen to some synth tones as well. Okay. So. Um, Come over to the, you, you can either go to synth lead, so we'll just go to the synth lead. I'll just turn these off. So uh, when you're turning these effects off, these effects are common to all of the 
Yes, they are. Yeah. So uh, as, as, well, as long as the keyboard is on, because if I wanted to change sounds during this, you know, the song or whatever, and I wanted to keep the same sort the of effects stay with. Yeah. It, so right. for instance, I've got a temper. There's a multi effects button here, which gives you 20 different effects as well, which each sound is automatically assigned, but you can All change. Right, so the multi effect when you change programs, yeah. the multi effect switches, whereas these other sounds they all stay the okay, same. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So for instance, you've got tempo splicer on that, and we can use a tap tempo for that to control. Um, but if I switch the, uh, well, but basically, if I just come down to the bottom here, you can see how to quickly it is to scroll through each one as well. So, and then you just control your level. So when you're control, th this this knob is presumably controlling more than just the level. It's doing de it's doing multiple functions, right? It's doing multiple functions, but in a way, as a preset. So you you, you you can't get to those. No, exactly. So that's 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 why it's kind of like a preset effect. You can control the level. And depth and things like that, but it's all pre-programmed for you. So, right. you know, so, so, but just to, just to be clear, there's no sort of in-depth programming of the effects. No. It's right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we, we've got a synth tone basically. Now, the, the difference between this and the Jupiters, which you've seen before, is that the it's set up um, for the two different parts, and the way the two. Oh, so the, the keyboard's split. Sorry, just to go back, the yeah. keyboard is splittable into two parts, whether a split or a layer. So split that, or a layer. Can be two. Yeah. So if it was a split, right. it would say lower and upper. So if I if I had two synth tones, for instance, and, and uh, then then I've got two synth tones, one on the bottom and one at the top. So I can edit whichever one I highlight. I can go in and edit. So that's only got one oscillator, for instance, that one. And, and then the top one, I can come in and edit that one, and that's got two oscillators right, running okay. on there. And we've got access to the, <laughs> mo the the mode filters that we've used to seen on the Integra and the 50, or at least a derivation of it. Right? We have. We've got low pass, high pass, band pass, and peaking pass. Um, the difference between the Integra and the Jupiters is you've also got the extra three low pass filters in there. Um, but exactly the same waveforms, exactly the same control on everything, and another page for LFOs, for mod wheel LFO, and for tone LFO. So, I mean, the bulk of the editing is kind of really happening in the synth engine. That's that's where you can go. Or is there more editing to have on other voices? Uh, I would say yes, as far as the, the synth tones have all the deep editing, but then the organ is also editing, even if it's just changing all the draw bars and things like that, right. you know, so the, 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 you're, you're limitless as far as organ tones because of the way you know that you can use the draw bars. Well, let's let's have a look at some of the organ stuff then. Okay, so, well, firstly, if, if I just put a, pick up a preset organ here, um, if you see when I, when I hold the finger, just touch the key, the right. sound triggers. This is what the quick firing keyboard is. Uh, and, and basically, if I had it on a piano, you right. know, it's it's uh, the, and the reason for that is obviously to get the quick firing. You know, you can get that nice percussive, and the, and the reason for that is it re-triggers sometimes by accident. So you but get that slightly kind of. There's a sound that yeah. Makes exactly, it and you're also thing, hearing right. click on that as well, so you can control the click. Uh, on board, so you can s decide how much click you want, and that's the literal that click to the note. If I kill it, there's no click there. So. And you're doing that on the iPad, but can you get to that on the? Everything on the keyboard is is really quick to get around as well, because it ought to, because mainly most of the functions are actually in front of you. To get to organ, you just literally press menu, and you see organ. Just hit enter. And then I've got all the different parameters, click noise, which is what we've just done. Right, okay, so you get to, it's not a hidden parameter, right? No, 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 they're all, they're all, everything's d designed to be, you know, accessed really quickly in for live performance again. Um, and as you can see on here, we've also got other functions like leakage. <laughs> leakage? Yeah. <laughs> Your organ's leaking. Yeah, my organ's leaking, don't touch it. So, so basically, uh, what leakage is, is the... Uh, in the old-fashioned organs, when when you had pickups on each different tone, when you got tone. crappy pickups yeah. and they just pick up loads of exactly. Hardness. So it is it is supposed to be a fault, but it became a, a well-known tone that people wanted. So that's left so it. Sort of John Law sort of vibe. Yeah. So yeah. if I hold it, you can hear the noise there. Get rid of it, and then put it back in. And these are added all to the characters of the sound. Right. That's interesting. So, and can we then add? These effects to the organ, or their specific effects. I notice you've got uh, chorus and what have you there. Uh, I've got chorus, um, and I've uh, I've got t two different choruses on board, and uh, three different choruses, three different vibratos, which you can access from the keyboard here, yep. or from the actual, and you just go through each one in turn, that, wh whichever one you want. Fast vibrato, slow choruses, um, and then there's the rotary. But as you, your question was about, I can use all the effects. It sounds like an espresso machine, doesn't it? Yeah, so <laughs> that's I, fab. Yeah. So basically, all of these effects that I've used on the the piano, I can add on this. So I can just. So 
So I can add all these different effects. You, you've got so much. Con I mean, you, there's there's no limit to how many. So I know the, the effects seem to be quite a kind of big part of how you would sculpt a sound. I mean, yeah. notice that when you hit the reverb there, the uh, type of reverb came up. So you do you you can change the kind of reverb and the kind of delay. So the algorithms. But only for those two, is that right? Yeah, th this is this is what I was saying again about the, the the ability to get to everything quickly live. So if I do want to add reverb, I might not want a spring reverb. So, it, but it literally comes up with the page, so I can just scroll through the different reverbs that are on there. And and yeah, it's overall amount that I've got. And the same. So I haven't delays. got any. I can't do the blend. No, you can't. So this the, the reverb knob might change the room size and the blend at the same time. So you can. Yeah, right, it okay. it tends to do a little bit more than that, but I don't know the in-depth side of. But of, we can't get hold of that exactly. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. And so that's 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 with the the reverb and the delay and the multi effects. You literally just come down to when it when it's on the main page and you can just pick which one you want. Uh, uh, okay. the Twenty. So uh, perhaps we could have a listen to a few more um, synth sounds. I mean, some of the pads and choirs and just various things there, because we haven't heard any of that yet. Yeah, sure. So literally the first pad you come on to, with lovely pads. The fact that you've got the cutoff and the resonance on this as well, you know, which is quite nice. Because obviously the V combo doesn't, is known for that, having those sort of sides to it. So I can use the nice cutoff. And you can get some pretty deep frequencies out of there. So will it resonate? Yeah, it will. And it hurts, so I won't do it. But uh... all right, yeah, there we go. That'll <laughs> blow up the inputs. <laughs> but it, it does do it. So yeah, so you've got a range under each different section. You've got all these different ranges: synth solos, and you've got some lovely bass sounds on board as well. Um, acoustic under the synth section. It's not just synth. You've got a good range of acoustic to every every synth sound as well. So you've got nice control, and also you can use the rotary on all of these sounds as well. So it's, you know, it, it's not just for organs. So you can actually, and I can use the D beam to, to to bring that in and speed it up, slow it down as well. Good old D beam. Yeah, it's there. The good thing about this D beam, it's not just um, as a controller and a pitch thing. It also adds effects. So you can actually have. Add effects to it as well, and just use it as another sound. <laughs> Keith Emerson. You got There's other things on. I didn't point out when we were doing the organ bit then that the uh, there's three different types of organ. You've got the jazz organ, which is the uh, the basis of a jazz organ. The rock organ, um, but quite unique uh, and new is the transistor. Uh, like um, sort of filicord and stuff. You like got that. the yeah. You know that. Door sounds. It sounds like chip tunes actually. Yeah, too. exactly. It's the door sounds. Yeah. It's it's. Um, you know, but it's on there as well. So you've got the three basic tones, not to mention all the PCM uh, tones, that, you know, the, the regular organ sounds that you expect to find. So what's going on here? Well, obviously, we've got the usual USB floppy top. What can you use that for? Right, there's, similar to the, the, the Jupiter's uh, a song play mode. So you can store your sounds and you've got a, a song player and a looper on here as well. Um, and that basically allows you to either import songs um, store all your songs, store all your sound data on this one as well. There's two USBs, the one on the back. So can you use it for backing tracks and playing over? And that yeah, sort of you thing. can store all your songs. You just hit the so song mode here and it just gives you the list. Um, I think it's a hundred. Um, yeah, it must be because it's still going. A um, hundred songs on board and also drum patterns as well because it's not just for songs this one. You also have a, a drum pattern section as well. So. So we've got drum kits as well, right? Yeah, we have. Yeah, there's there's up to 17 drum kits on board, and they've got what you'd expect: all the TR707, 909, 808, all the classics. And the nice these thing effects is, that you don't get the same level of editing as you do on the. You don't get the same level of it. No, exactly. But you can also run them through. So ah, you can yes. run them through all the effects that you've got on the keyboard as well. We've also got uh, acoustic kits on board as well, multi-sample kits, which are quite nice. So you've got the various different tones for each and you can edit those as well. So you can do some nice things with the drums. And there are patterns that you know for just jamming along with Yeah, them, all you need to right. do is just come to song player mode and then you can just come through your patterns. You've got a tap tempo over here as well, so you can just come through um, just start. You know, and they they vary from different kinds of kit as well, so it's not just electronic or just acoustic. And there is some kind of loop recording uh, uh, that you can do with it as well, right? The loop is really cool. You can you can start and stop this for a pedal, or you can start it from here. Um, you can record in your own loop, you know, literally manually. It'll do up to about 20 seconds uh, in length, 
but you can stack on top of that as many times. It's like as a sound on sound recorder. Exactly, right, okay. yeah. And then ba basically, all you do is just p pick a loop, uh, switch the looper on. Um, in fact, before I switch it on, let me just get. You've got individual levels for each different part as well, so that's about the right level there. Um, so I just switch the looper on. It starts recording either from the moment I hit the keyboard or from when I press start. So. And now I've looped that that one loop. All right, so now you can add. So now you can you can add anything over the top. So all I need to do is just trigger the, the recording part again. You can see I've only just done two bars on it. And you can continue adding to this as well. So you can go through your different bases and things. All right, that's quite a nice bass. So I'll just use that. Then you use the level again just to get the level up. So I just come to there. And so on and so on and so on. It's a nice way of storing ideas and you know, because it goes straight onto your USB stick basically. And that, uh, that's WAV format, presumably you can get them out. It's, it, it goes on as a WAV format, but it, you can actually put it in as WAV. Um, MP3, AIFF as well, so you, you know it reads all, all formats. And with this external input, can you record an external input into the looper yeah, as well? Yeah, all I need to do is have it on song player and record, or on looper, and then just, this is a stereo input as well, so you can... So you could, if you had like a little sub mix, get a mic yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you, you're ready to go. And it's, but it's uh, only a 20 second loop, but I suppose... You no, 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 that's, that's the looper, but if I wanted to do song mode, I can record the song for as long as I want. Ah, okay, it's just right. the looper that's restricted to 20 so it's like a sketch pad, I guess. Exactly, yeah. Because, I mean, it seems to me it's more ideally suited to playing live yeah. and throwing down quick ideas, because that's, I mean, that's neat to be able to do that. At the end quickly. of the day, this keyboard is, is it, it's designed for stage, you know, right. so it's like I've got all the ability to edit tones and, you know, with, with the, the iPad, the, 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 the tone editor, and create the things and store everything quite easily, but it is designed primarily as a stage. That's the whole idea. That's why it's lightweight, battery operated as well. That's all of these things. So um, we talked about it, it's light, right? How, how much does it weigh? It's it's 5.5 kilos, the weight of a bass guitar, basically. Okay. I mean, you, you can lift it with one finger. It's nice and light. Right, okay. And um, availability and pricing? I think it's available now, isn't it? It's. I think it's just about to come out. I, I don't think it's actually in the shops just as of yet, but um, it's 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 being released. Hold on, I'm just hearing something off camera. What was that? April. 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 See, almost now. Almost you know. now. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. And um, what was the price? I, I'm not in sales, but I know it's going to be under 800 quid. Okay. So it's very cheap for what you're getting. You know, it, it, I, I mean, I personally think because you've got an a, a incredible organ good synth generator and all the pianos and things on board. Um, and the fact that it's lightweight, I'm sick of heavy keyboards. Right, well, so it's clear that there is actually more to this than I initially thought. I, I did hear it at NAMM, and that's not necessarily the best environment to hear all of the stuff. And I must say, uh, the thing that did impress me was the organ is actually quite authentic. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing in itself, as no. well as all the other sounds exactly. as well. it's brilliant. Just wish I could play it. So we're not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to use the. Uh, so can I give my? Can you give your organ a taste, Gary? Oh um, no, I'm sorry, not touching my organ today. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, thank you very much for coming. Thanks down. a lot, mate.